So many people want more. We sing songs about more in the kingdom. And that's wonderful. We want more glory. We want more power. We want more grace, more wisdom, more membership, more increase, more influence. Faithfulness is a big key. And it's going to be one of the keys for the glory of this latter house. Verse 1. Let a man so account of us as of the ministers of Christ and of the not owners of the stewards of the mystery those that God has trusted with mysteries verse 2 moreover it is required in stewards that a man be found everybody say faithful it is required that means it is a requirement if you must be a true steward if you want God to trust you with more you must show your faithfulness at your current level are you getting my point now faithfulness another vital factor that is lacking in the body of Christ faithfulness people come they want more anointing more grace they put all kinds of administrative targets we want 20,000 people this this um um this year or this month or whatever and that's very wonderful there's a place for that but let me tell you something if you are not faithful at your current level of obedience god himself will resist your progression because you are not being useful hallelujah say faithfulness i found out that this word is a very serious word as far as committing things to people in the spirit this one is not just working with god now this one is the management of spiritual things faithfulness 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 you want to see more of the anointing of the spirit in your life you want to have more deeper access to this you must be faithful there are people you can see their track record over the years you have seen that they have worked faithfully with God at that level but there are people who you can see a track record of unfaithfulness are you faithful there was a conference like this last year something came upon you something was delivered track yourself have you been faithful just like pastor said before I came up it's not another conference will come next year again so let's not just sing this as a song oh glory glory and now you are preparing for the sixth year anniversary faithfulness faithfulness is one key that sustains the glory of God in the life of people faithfulness the ability to make the most of what you have now with gratitude and thanksgiving knowing that it is already prophesied that the part of the justice as a shining light is not something you die you see there are so many people and then again especially ministers somebody you got a job you just finished school god bless you and say okay get a job of twenty thousand, start somewhere and this impatience you are not faithful you are fighting with everybody in the school or in the company and you say lord i must be a ceo in this life you will not be i'm telling you you will not be until you pass that faithfulness test at every level god will test you he will go through i'm going to show you from scripture because you must understand this one i know that not everybody here may be a member of king's glory ministries there are some maybe pastors and ministers scattered around i'm sure some of you just came with a lot of zeal from your different ministries what can i catch that i'll run with for one year sit quietly and let me educate some things out of your mind because many of us have have in the name of wrong mentorship we've received all kinds of garbages by people question how did you grow and become an adult for how many years have you been eating every day except when you are fasting did you ever complain faithfulness you take your bath every day eat every day right 
do the same things every day and look at what it has produced your faithfulness changed a baby and made an adult out of that baby faithfulness you must be unfaithful if god gives you this level of anointing he's watching watching your dispensing it watching your faithfulness watching everything and then he will measure a thousand cubits for you again and you go deeper some people have remained at the same level for a long time and now i'm not just talking about ministers who are just starting there are ministers and some of them are even fathers in the faith you know they've not backslidden but you know that they stop moving up something happened hallelujah i should be able to see your life next year and know that there is a shift you shifted something happened faithfulness let's look at one scripture luke 16 jesus luke 16 say i receive grace to be faithful luke 16 blessed be the name of the lord god is talking to us in a very solemn but powerful way this morning verse 10 verse 10 10 yeah. can we read one to read he that is faithful in that which is least is also faithful in much and he that is unjust in that which is least is okay just stop here for a while and let me explain this notice the english of the bible it didn't say he that is faithful in least will be he said it's already in other words i can see your next level by your management of your current level this is scripture it is said he that is faithful in least is also faithful in much in other words show me david how much you will be a king let me see what you are doing with the sheep in the wilderness let me see the way you tend let me see the way you protect them let me see the way you provide you are already writing your exams for the palace are you getting my point david was faithful nobody saw him nobody came to supervise him but he was faithful he taught the lion he taught the bear he risked his life he showed that he could be a shepherd indeed and god said this is what i'm looking for this is what i'm looking for there are so many of us you want to become pastors you want to become this are they not seeing what i'm doing they are seeing you are not trying you are not being faithful as simple as that faithfulness faithfulness this is one big secret that's why a ministry can remain at a particular level for 10 years and never move further because that is the only level they will make the most impact for the kingdom if god takes them higher they start nose diving so god says remain at this level and be faithful but the day you step up in faithfulness everything around you steps up to faithfulness there are many of us god has committed certain things in our lives and everything just disappeared because we were not faithful some of us god committed resources some god committed opportunities some even god committed anointings there are many of us here there were times in our lives we walked in certain dimensions and you know that looking at it now uh -uh, something happened on the way you know what happened lack of faithfulness it's lack of faithfulness that will bring about carelessness in people's lives faithfulness 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 matthew 25 let's look at an interesting story that jesus gave mm. we receive grace to be faithful matthew 25 verse 14 For the kingdom of heaven is like a man traveling into a far country who called his own servants and did what delivered unto them look at me the bible says that man had servants 
over time he had seen the various capacity and ability of those servants is that true he was about to travel and he called all of them he said you are all workers but i cannot trust you at the same level are you seeing that the fact that you're a worker in the house of god let me tell you god loves everybody but he does not trust everybody it takes a proving to be trusted that's what happened to abraham he said now i know not when he left his house he would have changed his mind even on the mountain now i know that you fear me and i swear that in blessing i will bless you hallelujah so this man gave on to one five let's read on and unto one he gave five talents correct and to another two and to another one to every man what was a parameter that determined the level of giving according to what their prayers according to what their capacity to manage the resources and you will see at the end of the parable that he was correct for doing what he did that's why you see certain people you see you can see someone praying and fasting and what is looking for god takes it and gives somebody else and the person said i prayed so much i did so much i didn't get it you must be doing something for it to come this cheap it's not supposed to come that way faithfulness we don't study some of these things and this is what short circuits many of us many of us from entering certain deep dimensions of glory but i pray that from this conference light will break out in the name of the lord jesus christ verse 15 according to his ability and straight it he went away with his journey verse 16 and he that had received five talents went and traded with the same and made five talents 17 and likewise he that had received two he also gained other two 18 but he that had received one went to the earth dug it and did so and so and so and so now verse 20 the bible says of, of verse 19 after a long time the lord who's who's uh, of those servants cometh and what reckoneth that means he came to demand accountability listen to me at every phase of your life you will find seasons where god will call you and take periodic inventories of the grace that he has given you the opportunities that he has given you the access to light that he has given you and it is that test if you pass it you will be committed much if not the only thing god can do to you is to give you the gift of time to repeat that process again i'm teaching you very deep progressions of the christian experience hallelujah faithfulness faithfulness make sure that you take advantage of every opportunity you have be faithful you want to step in the glory you are an usher you are cleaning the chairs from the depths of your heart whether anybody is here or not you are doing it with all passion i'm not doing it for pastor to see me i'm not doing it for mama to see me i'm doing it from the depths of my heart if you are mopping the ground you are doing it seriously time for your meeting you are coming faithfulness the bible says you will reap what you sow not where you sow so even if you are not here tomorrow it's an investment you have made in the spirit and it must follow you there are lots of people who come and meet a man of god and say i want to leave your ministry i want to do this i want to do this i i always i had a man of god say every time people are leaving his ministry he will pray a prayer for them may god raise men to do exactly what you did for me in my ministry if you did well that's supposed to be a very good prayer because you shout amen amen no i want i served i was faithful but if you've not been faithful you know that that's the that prayer will torture you hallelujah there are certain people who can never be faithful you must make me a leader you must make me a this i want to be seen i want to be on the, no you don't rise that way the cheapest way to rise in the spirit is faithfulness i fear people that are faithful i have a deep sense of reverence for them because i know that that's the last time i'll see them at that level except scriptures is broken hallelujah Praise the Lord. That's the last time. Faithfulness. 
I know people that when we started out by the grace of God, their own was ministration. They wanted to go to radio, TV and do all of this. Gather sons and daughters and do all of these things. They were misusing the grace of God. Doing all kinds of things. Today, some of them see where God has taken us and some of them are angry. Some of them are wondering. They are saying these people is, is not supposed to be like this. Faithfulness, brothers and sisters. Faithfulness. Everybody say faithfulness. This is a word for somebody in this place. This is that one key. You came for this conference to say, Lord, why am I still here? Why am I still here? I've prayed. I've done everything that I know. To put it on door, mic. You can now. You don't need to play strings again. Just put something else. Hallelujah. Don't mind me. He's our music director. Praise God. Lovely gentleman. Loves God with all his heart. Praise the Lord. Very faithful. Faithful to God. Faithful to the ministry. We are proud of him. And we know God is taking him far. The ministry is too small to determine his destiny. He's going far. Father. Yeah. This is the benefit and the spirit of faithfulness. When I started out in life, listen. As at 1994 or 95, I used to play keyboard for a man called Reverend Emmanuel Amechi. You know, sometimes people just think that when you see a man of God, you just believe that he evolved from the sky and just fell down and started ministry. You need to find out the story behind the glory. There have been proofs of faithfulness over time. Hallelujah. I played, I was playing keyboard pastor for a man called Reverend Emmanuel Amechi. They were part of the people that went to preach for Obas and John. I would trek or take bike from my own money Huh? from my pocket and go to the church i had a local assembly when we finish i will go there and i'll be playing keyboard nobody ever tell, told me thank you once thank you but god is my witness whom i serve with my conscience that i gave my best i was never dreaming of ministry all i knew was lord it is a privilege to serve it was a small church they just started i gave my best to god it's my own keyboard i'll carry you at home it was no rent i would carry it sometimes i would trek it was even my parents that they said this this is a young boy this is too much for him but i said they should leave me the only thing i got as a reward from that ministry that i can remember is one bottle of fanta when they were launching the overseers at this thing, and one cassette hallelujah and i was faithful faithful if you are not faithful in another man's vineyard what makes you believe that god will commit to you your own this is a message to somebody faithfulness people sit down they are designing ministry i want to do ministry this ministry is not is not a sprint it's a very serious marathon you'll be tired one day except you are trained and built properly faithfulness faithfulness some of us god gave you a small shop you are there complaining and grumbling how much am i getting two three hundred naira recharge card oh god and and god says you are you are not and you keep shouting i'm a millionaire it is it's coming it's not coming it's not coming i'm not prophesying doom i'm just telling you you are killing that prophecy he told his son timothy paul he said why good warfare it's not just prayer partner with that in your obedience align with this prophecy to come to pass in your life God sees the way you are faithful in this recharge card business. You are making 200 naira a day, but you are faithful. You are saying, Lord, I will be faithful in tithing. I will be faithful in giving. One day you are sitting down and a brother comes. All you have is 1,000 naira and is in a dead situation. And God tells you, just give it to him. This is your whole, oh God, I've been working five days. And you give God, say, you did this for me. Increase his level. Somebody comes from nowhere. You just get up in the morning and come back with a blessing you cannot account for. Many of us are struggling too much. Could it be that we have neglected faithfulness? I know this looks very little. It doesn't look deep. But it controls much in the spirit. Say faithfulness. Are you just doing what you are doing in the ministry? Because you feel threatened by the presence of Pastor Kola or the leaders? Are you just doing what you are doing because oh, well you he got you born again so that solidarity let me just behave myself here or have you gotten a revelation that is beyond king's glory that you say i'll be faithful with my life i'll be faithful in service in the house of god 
we want power we want anointing people create all kinds of meetings that god is not in it god told me to put a meeting two people came for the meeting mr man god told you to put up a meeting you have inconvenienced everybody you won't listen there are people their bodies are just pinching them they claim they want to serve god god is saying you are a hypocrite you want relevance you are tired of inferiority complex and you are looking for a way to ease it off they don't want to serve god because when you are faithful in little you will be given much so says the bible one more scripture Look 12. Let's look at what the Bible says in Luke 12. Somebody learning something this morning. The protocol of the glory. This glory of the latter house. It will not just come haphazardly. There are laws. There are principles. Forty-one. from verse 41 there is a small note on my bible if you have my kind of bible you see it there it says parable of testing of servants parable of testing of servants listen then peter said unto him lord speakest thou this parable unto us or even to all and he says 42 and the lord said who then is that faithful and wise steward whom his Lord shall make what? Ruler. Are you seeing the reward for faithfulness? You start as a servant. Faithfulness makes you a ruler. You can never be a ruler if you have not tasted servanthood. I'm afraid of leaders who have never served anybody and anywhere. You are dangerous. Hallelujah. Very dangerous. It says whom his lord shall make ruler over his household to give him a portion of food in due season 43 he said blessed is that servant whom his lord when he cometh shall find so doing and then 44 of a truth i say unto you that he will make him ruler over all that he has how many of you have had people come to work in your house maybe there are people that maybe you employed or people who just come to work in your house a time will come they will have more influence even more than certain workers because of their faithfulness they can enter your bedroom and mop the floor and see ten thousand and pick it just put it in an envelope and drop it there hallelujah and one day you look at them and say have you gone to school he said nobody to sponsor me and you take it upon yourself to do things there are families that people grew up there they came as house helps but it was the family that gave them out in marriage because of faithfulness there are others who were born as sons but unfaithfulness drove them out they went somewhere do you know what faithfulness can do to you some of you in your workplace your boss employed you are always unfaithful grumbling you are not serious you are not working every time they say they want to promote people you are even smiling you see all kinds of visions of yourself being promoted and nothing happens it's amazing how we can see visions of lifting we are not partnering with the holy spirit for everybody comes with revelation i saw this i saw myself in suit i was sitting on the boss's chair <laughs> 10 years later you are still there because it takes faithfulness i had a vision i saw myself sitting near pastor Kola. what does that mean let me tell you what it means it means let me tell you straight to the point so that you don't even start daydreaming that means god is saying he has potentials to lift you your job is to be faithful right faithful hallelujah faithfulness I remember last year when i came in and i saw yavala we're all together in Ebu, many people kazayat he was a prayer secretary of fcs faithfulness there are many people that are too big too big for nonsense that's why they are too big for the next level of their life once you find yourself getting too big to humble yourself and serve go for a retreat quick you need a retreat as a matter of emergency hallelujah because in this kingdom 
your faithfulness is your report card that's your evidence that you deserve to get into the next level i'm praying that at the end of this meeting that my god will take somebody to another level because for many of us this is the one key that has stopped you you've done other things but he said one thing is needful one thing amiria has chosen this thing other things are important but at this point one thing is needful faithfulness 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 because in the kingdom i'll round up by saying this everything that happens in the kingdom is not an accomplishment it's a trust i think this is one of the biggest revelations that i've gotten in this kingdom working with god listen it's not necessarily a gift but it's a trust a man can have nothing except it be given to him john 3 john 3 let's turn there and look at it and then we'll pray john 3 verse 27 never forget this scripture success in the kingdom is not an achievement it's a trust your ultimate pursuit as far as advancement in the glory is concerned is to make yourself trustworthy when you are trustworthy there is nothing god will not give you god told me this years ago he says son if you can let men see me there is nothing i will not give you john answered and said a man can receive nothing except it be given to him a man cannot receive any anointing on it is, until it is given a man cannot receive any increase in membership until it is given satisfy all the principles you know do everything there is a place for that but the ultimate test is the test of being trustworthy it says well done good and faithful servant enter thou into my rest I will commit to you i will make you a ruler and they took the talent from that one man and gave it to the one that was able to demonstrate that he had the greatest capacity hallelujah are you trustworthy can god trust you with the next level of glory king's glory can god trust you with the next level of apostolic fire and grace and revival can you be trusted it's not like it's not available it's available you don't claim it is a trust god is speaking to everyone here can god trust you with the next level of financial prosperity do you think god can trust you with millions don't say yes sister do you believe that god can trust you you want god to trust you with a man of god i want to marry a preacher I had a dream and in my in, in the dream I, I was with a man and we we're all going around the city really can god trust you to take care of that man or destroy him and his ministry his anointing the call of god everything god has given hallelujah passion for god developing the fear of god see let me tell you never think that this that i've taught is just some kind of milk these are deep secrets this is the protocol for entering on limited levels of glory men will just watch you climb ladders they can't see the ladder but they cannot deny your transition this has worked in my life and everyone here who has been faithful you will know that it has worked hallelujah we are going to spend some time praying and i really want us to pray hallelujah hold on i'll ask you to stand up soon but i when when it's time to pray i want us to pray i believe this is a prayer ministry i know that we pray a lot and this is the right moment to pray when you hear a word like this is a time to cry out your heart so that when somebody just come and say i saw you and in the vision that i saw i saw, ask yourself am i partnering with prophecy so that you don't turn later on and say the man is fake he said a lie he didn't say a lie you did not understand the protocol there is a way it works this is how it works in the kingdom i've read my bible and i can tell you these patterns are consistent the love for god the fear of the lord hallelujah 
and faithfulness we're still going to talk about wisdom and understanding tomorrow and then there's there's still some other things i want to share and we are going to pray every one of us is affected by one or two of these areas and we are going to cry hallelujah i don't know how you are going to do it but you are going to cry please instrumentalist can you come up we are going to pray we will cry in this place and say lord we are crying for the next level we are tired of where we are there must be a cry there must be a hunger please instrumentalist Yavala, the ones that can really play and flow with us please we don't want any distraction right now praise god when i started out in life today let me tell you the truth with all humility i am amazed to see what god is doing in my life i hear the things that people say about me i've had the privilege of access i've been to many places and i see what god has done in such a short time and sometimes i look at myself at the mirror and then i just start crying i said look at what god can do with anybody this is what can happen to you if you are yielded let me tell you there is nothing special about me there is everything special about him is what he can make with a man who makes himself available today by the grace of god we've seen all kinds of fearful walkings you know the bible says fearful in praises doing wonders i have seen things that have made me afraid the hand of god he said no man can do these works except god be with him and tonight the pastors in this ministry have made this program available so that somebody will be initiated into a realm of hunger and passion tonight forget about your title forget about whatever whether you are a pastor in which ministry you are, you are most welcome it's time to remove that title throw it away and let's cry before god i don't want to know whether you are the commissioner for whatever we are going to cry before god you are going to humble yourself and break down and say lord this is it my spirit bears witness that this is the deficiency in my life this is what has stopped me this is not just about ministry this is about the glory is not about just ministry the glory is about stepping into there are many financial apostles that god wants to commit part of the things that will happen to the latter house let me tell you something i keep telling god hear this hear this i i must say this to you mike this is transposed i asked god a question i said lord why are you so meticulous when it comes to committing resources to people and god took me through a journey and when god finished that journey i said you are just indeed you deserve to be god i saw the reason why god can never please listen to me commit certain levels of blessings we all need blessings there are ministries that need all kinds of things you know and this and that your heart must be tied to god at the beginning of this year the lord gave me an instruction i'll just share just to bless us and the lord told me that we should carry every resource that belongs to the ministry everything when i say everything i don't mean maybe the ones for reserve or everything and the lord said we should sow it ah you better hear god before taking that kind of step hallelujah i called the treasurer and i told her it's time to move to the next level i was smiling that's all i told her i said i'm happy i've been waiting for this moment see if a rich man tells you borrow me money will you borrow him very fast because you know he will give you i said it at and at our meeting yesterday we we're considering a series on financial dominion if a rich man somebody you know is a millionaire if he says please give me one thousand very quickly you will give him because you know he will not return one thousand for you hallelujah and i was happy i said lord thank you thank you and we have seen fearful well we have seen the hand of god in very awesome humbling ways let me tell you if you have love for god and the fear of god in your life and you are faithful at the level you are don't find yourself promoting yourself 
Proverbs 31 31 let her works speak for her at the gates if you are speaking for your works it's an error your works can speak you say ah but nobody see me who told you you cannot light a lamp and put it under a bushel it's impossible it will burn everything until it creates noise we are going to pray we are going to pray deeply for our heart the first prayer point is a prayer of rededication rise up on your feet everybody Sila makata brashita balada bakota